Hey everyone, welcome back to the second video about the uh, Rensilio Class 8 uh, repair. This is a machine for 2004 uh, with a contaminated boiler basically for whatever reason uh, a bunch of milk got sucked into the boiler and then just ruined everything and you couldn't get it out. So basically what we had to do is take the whole thing apart uh, take the boiler, the steam valves, heat exchangers, you name it, and soak it in a special boiler uh, cleaner. And then uh, overhaul it, replace all the necessary valve, rebuild the steam valves, roof heads, flow meters. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the parts we replaced, because uh, that's the fun part. You get to see all the old stuff and how the new, like, basically compare. So this is the old. Uh, you can see this is the uh, old milk on the heating element. This is how it looks like. It sits inside the boiler. Uh, and this thing was just like calcium and milk and it was just like bad. So we have a new one inside. And then um, this is the sensor that uh, basically uh, regulates uh, the water level over here. So we have a new one and it works amazingly. Then we did have two new steam ones. Now these uh, steam ones come with uh, one one hole tip. Kept the uh, the four hole ones over here, nice and clean. See them uh, four holes. Well, steam much faster, but uh, for the video, I'm just gonna keep the uh, new ones on there. Uh, then we have all this. Look at this. The amount of rust inside this bag can really see it because it has two bags. Um, let me just turn this off, hold on. Sorry about that, our fridge keeps beeping. Um, this is the flow meter, there's two of them. You can see how it's full with calcium as well. That's got replaced. And uh, my favorite, my personal favorite, is the hot water spout. Look at that. This is like ancient. So, this is the new one over here. Works way better than the old one. New gaskets. Um, and let's give it a shot. So, first of all, uh, we turned it on uh, for the first time after we adjusted the uh, steam pressure. Sometimes it can go way over. 1.3 uh, that was our original setup so if it goes up to like 1.7 or or you know just you know purge it get some steam out you know still it settles at like 1.3 uh, again so don't freak out if it just goes over 1.3 you just let some steam out and it will go back to normal um, so let's pull some shots. Um, we're just gonna go through this real quickly. So this is the hot water. Um, and it will deliver about probably four rounds of water each time. You can program that as well. And then um, I like to use the uh, manual button, but you, you have like the setup here, you have short, double, and then uh, for longo, and double ones as well, but I kind of like to use the manual shots, that's just me. Uh, the same over here, and then the other steam one. Now you can also print this one out, and it will stay, and then uh, if you just want to do like a little one, you just, just do it this way. Um, so let's give it a shot and see how it goes. I kind of like to frost my milk first and then pull the shot, so I'm gonna try to do that. Um, let's give it a go. I can even like, I'll take the camera off the tripod in a second, ouch. Watch out, these are very hot, so you might burn yourself. Just make sure maybe you can keep like a, a damp towel here uh, at all times.
There we go. This takes a little while because it only has one hole. But once, like I said, once you switch to the uh, four hole one, it should go much, much faster. Uh, and this thing has a ton of pressure, so nothing to worry about. And then I took the liberty to uh, get this ready in advance. And then I'm gonna put it right over here. And we can pull our shot. Let me just take this off the tripod so we can look at the shot real quick. So I'm gonna press over here. Let's see how it goes. I think I kinda overpacked it. And it still looks pretty good. Not perfect, but it's going. Alrighty. There we go. That's our result now. This machine is, uh, the clearance between the tray and the top is much bigger than, uh, taller, I'm sorry, longer than usual. Um, because it's commercial, so you can fit all different types of coffee mugs here. Now let's try to uh, do some latte art here. Just gonna spin this really well. Then I'm gonna take this guy, give it also a nice spin. All right, let's see. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Um, I don't know if you guys can even see it because of the reflection. I'm gonna put it over here. Turn it, hold on, be patient. This is pretty good. All right, so thank you for watching and thank you for repairing with Canaan Coffee. Please comment below if you'd like to see more of these videos or if you have any questions about this Class 8 machine, we'll be more than happy to help. Again, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe and like button. It helps us a lot. My name is Yossi and I'll be more than happy to assist you. Take care.